Welcome back beer tubers, that's right, time for another review of a German beer. Today we have Weinstefaner's Corbinian. This is their 7.4% Doppelbach. And it's been a while since I've had it, so I wanted to get it reviewed. Got it poured out. It's, uh, you know, the, the head faded away. The head there is just kind of a off-white, kind of tan head. Leaving some legs on the glass. Uh, some decent carbonation. It's just a, a really kind of lighter brown. You get a little bit of red notes to it, but just a, a nice kind of overall. Just it's a pleasant looking brown ale. It's not it's not you know murky or or looking like swamp water or anything like that. So let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells nice. Uh, dark fruits are coming forward uh, right away. A ton of raisin. A little bit of like a chocolate malt in there. Or maybe not necessarily chocolate malt, but a chocolate character. A big, huge, sweet breadiness. Touch of like a, a caramelly character. Probably not caramel malt, probably more of a caramelization. Yeah, a little plum, but mostly like a raisin uh, aroma coming from it. So let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. It's um, I'm tying the alcohol really well. It wasn't detecting any on the aroma. Flavor-wise, not really getting anything for a sip. Balls and nose pretty well. First thing I noticed is the body is it's a little thinner than I thought. It's it's a, I was hoping it would be more on the heavier side of medium, and it tends to be on the lighter side of medium. Which does make it drinkable, but uh, it's just a little surprising, especially with this alcohol percentage. So up front, you get big sweetness, big sweet bread. The uh, the raisin comes in, the plum is there, and you, you get a little bit of that caramelly, kind of melanoidiny type of character, just a, like a caramelized, you know, dark fruit character. Nice sweetness up front. And in the middle, it starts transitioning into a little, hints of more of that slightly roasted sort of chocolate note. There's a little bit of almost a root beer note kind of towards the, uh, the end of the beer as well. The finish is nice and dry. Pick up a little bit of like a spice character that uh, might be coming from the yeast. Um, more on the clovey side. And then, um, you know, the alcohol is pretty well masked. You just get an ever so slight touch of it. In the flavor, um, it's a really nice Doppelbach. Not quite my favorite. I really like the Einger Celebrator. That's that's definitely my uh, probably the top my go-to uh, Doppelbach. But um, yeah, this one's pretty good. Um, don't know the age on this. Don't know if you know if this is the best example of this beer. I'd love to have it fresh from the brewery. As is, I'm gonna go B plus on this one. It's not quite uh, putting in the A level for me. At least this particular bottle. But I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, Weinstefaner is uh, is a fantastic brewery, and uh, this is a really nice example of a Doppelbach. So it's gonna wrap it up. Till next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.